how to create a PNG logo reflection effect in DaVinci Resolve 18.1.4. Inside your project's edits window, hold in control or command if you're a Mac user and press I to insert a PNG logo image file of your choice. Go to your media pool master bin and click and drag on the thumbnail of your newly inserted logo image file to place a clip of this on your edit timeline. Right click on your new logo edit and go to open in Fusion page. Inside your Fusion nodes panel, ensure that either left or right view is selected underneath media out one to see a preview of your logo effect in the window above your Fusion timeline. Select media in one, hold and shift and press space, Use a search box at the bottom of the Select Tool window to find a Merge tool. Select this and go to click on Add. This new tool should be connected to Media In 1 via the yellow background arrow. Deselect this new node by clicking anywhere in your empty nodes grid. Now select just Media In 1. Hold in Control and press C to copy. Deselect the node and hold in Control and press V to paste. With your duplicated media in one node selected, hold in shift and press space, and go to add a transform tool, not the transform XF tool. Click on the gray box to the right of this new transform node, and drag your mouse cursor to the green arrow alongside your merge node, which represents the foreground of your logo reflection effect. With transform one selected, go to inspector, and underneath controls, Decrease the value of position Y to shift the duplicate of your logo image downwards. In this case here, I will change this value to minus 0.45. Click on the box next to flip vertical to create the mirror reflection. In order to blur this duplicate logo image to make it blend in with the section below your original logo, open up the image adjustment section, tick crop. We will make the logo blend into the bottom section of the video canvas by increasing the softness and the radius of the frame which surrounds the logo to make this blend into the bottom section of your video clip. In order to do this, increase the value for crop top. Here in this example, I will increase the value here to 0.3. Increase the value for edge softness to 10 so that the border of the logo which is currently not in view will be blurred. And increase edge rounding to one to add a feather effect to the bottom section of your logo reflection. Now select Merge 1, go to Inspector and underneath the Merge Properties, decrease the value for Blend. Here in this example, I will reduce this value to 0.6. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.